everybody. Hello. Welcome back again. Welcome back with George Truly the Council, your domestic violence council. And uh, we're going to be addressing a topic today called the peace and our domestic pieces. The peace and our domestic pieces. And uh, before we start, I want you to tap into my YouTube channel, Domestic Violence with the Counselor, Mr. James Horton, all right? Just tap in Domestic Violence with the Counselor, Mr. James Horton, and there'll be a host of videos you can watch, uh, heal yourself, educate yourself on many things, and um, get things in order in your life. And I promise you, I guarantee you, you will receive all that I have just said. All right, it says, the domestic peace, it says the peace in our domestic pieces, the peace in our domestic pieces. It says defining the peace in our domestic pieces. A piece is a portion or an object. It is also a separate or limited portion of or quantity of something. Domestic pieces are described as items, fragments, portions, samples, and, and specimens. The difference between the pieces in our domestic pieces the peace in our domestic pieces is the peace is many times known to be different than the many scattered pieces of a group, a family, a neighborhood, or a corporation. Ask yourself questions, right? You know, like um, people oftentimes uh, will try to describe one or you or me or someone as different you know, than the other pieces. They often say you're funny or you're weird, right? Instead of respecting that you're different, instead of respecting that God made us all different, but yet you have many pieces that tend to try to be the same sort of piece as other pieces, all right? Okay, number one. If you were to describe your position in life, are you known as the solid piece or the unhealthy pieces? Are you known as the solid piece or the unhealthy pieces? You know, you want to find out what kind of piece you are, all right? Number two, domestic peace. When you think about the family you were raised up in and the family you spend time in or with, like, you know, your relationship partners and all that, were you always known as the strong supportive piece or the domestic problem piece, right? Like, what kind of piece were you? Were you the supportive piece in the family, supportive piece in the group, the organization? Uh, uh, who were you, right? Ask yourself, right? Number three, domestic problems. When it comes to acknowledging the, play, the peace you are in most problem relationships, do you usually feel the peace is the problem or do you believe the family domestic pieces are usually a problem? Right? I mean, like, one more time. Domestic problem, peace. When it comes to acknowledging the pieces, the peace you are in most problem relationships, do you usually feel the pieces, the peace is the problem, or do you believe the family pieces are the problem? Do you believe them kids, them, them kids are the problem? Do you believe that uh, uh, your baby mama and them is the problem. Do you believe, you know, uh, the problem is uh, uh, the kids ain't got no job or the kids mama ain't, ain't bringing in enough money for you to just sit down and, and just kick back and, and, and watch, uh, you know, the half and the half not. I mean, like, uh, what is the real problem here? The piece, you, or the pieces, them, right? Okay, number four, um, domestic peace. When it comes to you being or becoming whole and complete, do you believe your friendship pieces make you whole or does your self peace make you whole and complete? Domestic peace. When it comes to you being or becoming whole and complete, do you believe your friendship pieces make you whole or does your self peace make you whole and complete. Like, I mean, for real. I mean, because some people can't be by themselves. Some people believe that 
the reason why they work, they world or their life is the way it is is because of their associates, their friends, their neighbors, and all that. If it weren't for my friends, they say, or you say, uh, you know, uh, I wouldn't be complete. Is that what you believe? Because, you know, nothing truly lasts forever. And you will find, like I found, that you must work on self. You must build you up. You know, because, you know, I believe without me, you know, it would be no world for me. So I don't know about you and your choices or what your opinion is on that. So you think about it. All right, number five. Domestic peace. Do most of your friendship pieces complete you or do you believe they work hard to defeat you? Domestic peace. Do most of your friendship pieces complete you or do you believe they work hard to defeat you, right? And that's when you really try to find out what a, a, a friend is, you know. And uh, a friend should not uh, work hard against you. They should work with you uh, on, on most friendship, most everything. You know what I mean? I mean, no one owes us anything, but at the same time, if you're going to use a phrase or a word uh, uh, that's defined in friendship, it should be some weight that goes with that. It would be something seen that goes with it and not anything seen that brings you down or breaks you down or defeats you. It should complete you. So that's up to you to find out like many others, all right? Uh, number six, domestic power peace. Do you feel or believe the pieces you know you are, you know are more valuable than the pieces you all are? <laughs> uh, domestic power piece. Do you feel or believe the pieces you know, the pieces you know are more valuable than the pieces you are? Or do you believe the piece is always value, valued higher than the pieces? Do you believe that? I mean, sometimes we believe that all pieces outside of us, all people outside of us are much more valuable and we just want to know them we want to associate ourselves with them we want to be like them and, and a lot of people a lot of people a lot of people uh, not all people but a lot of people uh, have a sense of believing that everything outside of them is much more happier much more greater much more better much stronger than they are so they value me individuals value others outside of themselves more than they value themselves. They see people uh, uh, receiving things in life, see people buying new cars, people uh, having things, and they tend to believe that this great almighty God is blessing them and not blessing the person that's having these thoughts. It's believing that people outside of them are being blessed and they're not being blessed on the inside believe that people outside of them or outside of you are more uh, greater than you and more special and more valued than you are. But the question is, do you believe that the pieces outside of you are more greater than the pieces, the peace within you is the question. And I hope that the peace within you has the value, has all in the value, which you can even share with others, but you must know who you are, all right? Um, number seven, domestic centerpiece. Do you believe your outer pieces make you whole, or does your centerpiece in your in you make you whole and complete? Domestic centerpiece. Do you believe your outer pieces make you whole, or do you or does your centerpiece make you whole and complete? Right. Um, I believe it starts from the inside out, not the outside in. It's great to have the support one needs, but sometimes and many times the support is there and we don't even see it. We don't even take the value of it, the strength of it, the power of it. So it's really, really important to work from the inside out instead of the outside in, you know. 
but to each his own, all right? Number eight, we're going to close this out. Domestic peace. When it comes to describing and defining the who, who, and what makes you you, uh, makes you who you are, does the domestic peace define you or does your domestic pieces define who you really are? Domestic peace. When it comes to describing and defining the who's who and what makes you you, who makes you who you are, does the domestic peace define you or does your domestic pieces define who you really are? Right? You gotta ask yourself, you gotta ask yourself this question. Um, I would hate to see, I hate to know, or hate to find out that one may believe that one may believe that people outside of themselves make them great. One will even delete the power of God within themselves uh, as a value to tell them that they are somebody, that they are great. Uh, but often we can fool ourselves or get sidetracked in believing that um, <clears throat> the pieces outside of ourselves, right, define us, right, instead of the pieces within, the peace within that truly defines us. Okay, that's going to be it for yours truly, the counselor. Thank you again for attending my group.